Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 14 of Let's Play Crystallis, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. I've noticed something, and when you go through this little threshold over here, that if that blue enemy is there, it'll just despawn right away. Which is actually quite neat. Even not that the uh, blue guy was even a threat, because apparently it can fly right next to me and not even come in contact at all. Okay, so I pretty much gotta do the exact same things I did on the previous floor. I'm just thankful that these little escalator areas give you a, a little bit of a safe haven from taking damage. So I can recover my HP and all that. Oh, I still forgot to put the power ring back on. That's why I wasn't doing as much damage as I would have liked. I guess if I stay on the very bottom, I don't have to worry about the turret. It's not even on screen. Of course, I still have to worry about other enemies, but that's besides the point. You can't avoid it all. Eventually, those blue robots are going to start rushing in to take care of all the yellow ones. It's just a matter of time. Here they come. Let's take out a few at a time. So that I don't get overwhelmed. There we go, now they're both dead. So let's look for some more. I think there's like two per pod. So it seems pretty consistent. I don't even know what Let's Play I'm gonna do right after this anyway. I usually like to keep them a surprise. Ow, I'm gonna get hit twice, and I did. Perfect. So there's, I guess there's one more pod. Yep, there it is. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. I should have a very good chance of getting to the final boss in this episode. And finish the Let's Play from here. There's not much to this tower. I mean, you just gotta, like, climb up a few levels and then there you are. Did you find Estica? He was an android created by us, and programmed to lead the people in a positive direction. We can only hope he will succeed. We use all our resources to create him. If he fails, then it will be up to you to decide their fate. Nah, unfortunately he did fail because he got corrupted by Dragonia. Well, Emperor Dragon's his name. But still... Looks like it's up to us to save the world. Because Estica couldn't do it. He got destroyed. I'm gonna get myself to full health. Now I just gotta repeat this process again. It is annoying you have to do this like several times, but it does challenge you. At some point you just manage like who you're going to attack and where you're gonna be when you do it. Otherwise, you know, stuff like that can happen where you just take contact damage. Is that all the yellow robots? Yes, it is. So bring on the blue ones. Oh, there's three this time. Looks like they're just adding on more. Oh, I'm gonna get cornered. Nope, I found a seam. Good. Try to hit them all at once. Make it a little bit easier on ya. Was there only like two pods on this floor? Looks like there was. I mean, we are climbing up a tower, so it's gonna get a little bit shorter on the top. That much is to be expected. Hey, where are you going? That's right. You go to die. You ain't escaping. Okay, there we go, we cleared it. So, we'll be going up even higher. How high up are we, anyway? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Oh, there's a room. Messia! Nufi! You finally caught up with me! Unsheathe your swords, or the tower's attack will begin! Mm, okay, what am I gonna do with them? Oh, now I got the Crystallis. So there's just, like, one sword now. Okay, so... 
doesn't really have a charge attack. I don't have any amulets for them. You must destroy Dinah, the central computer. If you succeed, stick Crystallis into its main reactor. Oh, okay. I'm guessing that would be its eye. So let me get myself to full MP before I even think about taking that boss on. Give me a moment. Oh, I can go straight to the top. Okay. Nufi, Messia, by the time this is activated, we will no longer be alive. We hope we have made the right decisions, and that all people will realize their mistakes before it's too late. Nufi, Messia, as old friends, we wish your safety. Good luck. Okay, so I guess beyond here is the final boss. Let's do this. Oh, we're getting very futuristic now. Oh. Oh, now I got an attack. So I just gotta wait for that eye to open. Can I do something with these cores? Okay, as soon as I approach the eye, it's gonna start shooting out of control. Uh, I gotta find an opening. And every time I shoot at it, both of them are gonna fire at once. I just gotta keep moving, that's all. There. That's pretty much gonna be my best chance to uh, damage this guy. Do I have the power ring on? No, I still got the uh, pendant on again. Oh, there we go! <laughs> I think I won! I was a bit of an anticlimactic final boss, though. Just one phase. Crystallis is thrust into the reactor, which looks like an arc. Confirm meltdown. Self-destruct has been initiated. Doofy! Messia! Did you get hurt? Eh, a few times, but I'm fine. The danger is over now, Nufi. It would be nice to rest easy from now on, without the threat of evil at our backs. Final countdown initiated. Evacuate. Explosive act activated. Evacuate. 30, 29, 28, 27. Time to leave. I'm with you. Very slowly, of course. It's not like it's going to explode right away, so let's not run. Oh, so the countdown just controls the weather. Now, this legendary conflict along with the people's despair have ultimately ended. Nufi and Messia, two fearless youths we can never forget. Well, she didn't really do much, but still. This will be a legend forever remembered to maintain peace and humanity. And peace will return. And that's it! That's Crystallis for the NES! It it was an okay game, it's not exactly the best action RPG, but it definitely lives up to its reputation as very colorful and some nice music. Unfortunately, the uh, remake on the Game Boy Color, as I mentioned before, wasn't that great. And I didn't really want to Let's Play that version at all. So if you get a chance to find this game, definitely give it a chance. If you like action RPGs, you'll like this one. I mean, there are some better ones around, but... I'd say if you try this one, you won't be disappointed. But anyways, this is the Bonga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you next time. I like how the tower collapses and there's actually absolutely no earthquake or explosion. Just total seamlessness. Yep. Goodbye everybody, thanks for watching.